All right, we will start well, with. You put it over there. Who do you? Who wants to go first? Me. You got to fly before. Okay. <laughs> She's got you there. All right, Avery, we'll start with you first. <laughs> hey, welcome back. So this is different. We 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 have the Heli 101. If you've watched the other videos, we did the unboxing video, did kind of the announcement video, and then I said we wanted to do kind of a. I don't know, a series of videos walking you into why the Heli 101 is good, what to do when you get it, because we are marketing this primarily for beginners. So today, we got a couple beginners. This is Zayden and this is Avery. Hi. These are my two oldest kids. We had orthodontist appointments today, which there there's no braces in our future, at least for the next year. But there are little helicopters, so we're going to plug these in and let each of them kind of have their turn with it. They They've never flown anything i mean zayden's flown a little bit okay they've both flown a little bit on simulators stuff like that so this is going to be new for us we're going to try to let you see how a couple true beginners do with the heli 101 so instead of rambling on about it let's uh let's try to fly some stuff so and then we're going to try to do it with camera on a stick i've got a phone in my pocket so we're going to see what kind of video we can make out of this if it turns out good Leave the thumbs up, leave a like, leave us a comment, let them know how they did. If it turns out bad, leave a thumbs up and make us feel good about ourselves. All right, let's get started. That way gonna work on the train. The train decided to come by, so now we're gonna try it again. All right, so in the beeping you hear is actually the transmitter battery is getting low, so. All right, so just like we said before, push the button one time to take off. Now? Yep. All right, so now, right stick to the right just a little bit. It's a lot easier when the wind's not blowing, huh? And that's going to be another key, guys, is like if you have these outside and it's really gusty and really windy, it's going to be a lot harder to learn how to fly with them. It's not going to be impossible, but it is going to be harder to where any time that wind gusts, it's going to feel like you don't know what you're doing, but it's not you. It's literally the helicopter being blown by the wind and you have to actually correct for that to make it fly right. So the best time to learn how to fly something that you've never flown before is in a calm, zero wind day because now Avery's actually doing it all by herself. I'm not even really paying attention to her. Whereas when the wind was blowing earlier, it, it was frustrating, honestly, for both of us. So she, she's absolutely killing it right now. I'm really proud of you. Good job, girl. So try with the left stick. Yeah, it's because the wind's actually blowing down this road a little bit. There you go. See? So that pulls, a, pulls your nose around the other way. And this is exactly right. Let me see that phone, Zay. So you keep keep doing your thing, girl. You are doing awesome. Nope, you're fine. You stay right there. I feel so comfortable. I'm going to come over here. Don't hit me. Oh, push the button to land, Avery. Push the button to land. I did it! I did it! So this is cool because I'm actually not afraid of my daughter right now. <laughs> You're doing awesome, girl. <laughs> We're going to have to take these home and let everybody else try them next. Yeah. Keep, ah. doing, keep doing your thing. Don't worry about me. You're fine. What do you think? I like it. I want to take Did you ever think home. you... Well, I'll tell you what. We'll get these videos done, and then we'll take these home and let everybody learn. What do you okay. think? Cool? Yeah. All right. Uh. Pull backwards. Come back to us. Come back to us. Get over the grass. And then land. Nope. Keep it right there. Forward a little bit. Okay. All right, now take it back out in front of you where you need that. Oh. All right, stop. Look at that! I did that. Dude, it's not that you're just kind of pushing it around the sky. You're actually flying it, and you're doing a really good job. All right, so when we first start learning, you want to keep it in front of you the best you can and keep that tail pointed. So you're getting kind of the feel of it right now, right? So you put it out here in front of you, and you always want to keep that tail at you. Before you turn your controller off, we take out the battery. Take out the battery first, and it's a little bit hard. You might not be able to do it by yourself. It's a little bit hard. 
there you go. Okay, that cool. Easy. That wasn't bad. Now turn it off. Yep, turn that off. And we'll put this in my pocket. And then I'll put these underneath the camera. Cool. All right, it is cold. Avery did freaking awesome. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Like, legitimately, that was great. All right, so now we're going to switch I'm cameras. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> right? So just like we did with your sister, we're going to set the helicopter up. You're going to actually set it all up. You're going to do everything we need to do to get it to fly. Okay? Okay. And then you're going to learn to fly it. You should not have any trouble. Wind's blowing a little bit. So like we said with Avery, if the wind is gusting, you might wait for a little bit more calm day. We don't really have that pleasure today. So we're just gonna go with it. And he's gonna learn to fly yeah. in wind. So if he can do it in wind, I'm fairly confident to say that us marketing these so heavily for beginners is a good thing. So give me your controller. <clears throat> so this battery, this part goes up and you clip it into the bottom of the helicopter cool so flip it over the door yep right here yep so this flip the battery yep and it goes right in that opening there so you line it up just yep make sure it's good and solid all right go put your helicopter on the road just close to us so it's flat good enough Come here, turn your transmitter on. First thing we're gonna do after the transmitter is on is all the way up with the left stick, it beeps, and then all the way down with the left stick and it beeps again, that initializes the helicopter with the transmitter. So all the way up, all the way down. Let go. See how your light went solid? Yeah. All right, so next is this button on the top left. You touch it once, it will actually take off. You touch it again, you don't worry about that. The right button is not any concern for us. So tap the left button. Now the idea is just use the right stick to keep it right in front of you. Right. There you go. So a little bit more right. And you see how you're having to keep it a little right at least? That's because the wind is blowing down this, this road here. So we want to keep it to the right a little bit. And then when you first start flying, this is what you're going to practice. You're going to practice holding it right in front of you with the tail pointed at you for a while. And once you learn how to do that pretty confidently, then actually the next step is landing it, turning it with like the tail pointed to the right or to the left and learn how to hold it that direction. It sounds pretty easy, but it's, it gets kind of confusing. Bring it backwards. I'm going to hit the fence. Avery didn't crash, so I just want to throw that out there. No pressure right a little bit now if you want to come up some you can push up on the left stick to get some altitude there you go bring it to the right a little bit dude you're doing awesome backwards a little bit push up on your left stick to get some altitude right forward some remember try to keep it out here to the right some he's fighting it a little bit but literally it's because the wind bring it backwards all right stop forward you see how even though you let go of the stick it was still coming backwards yeah. it's because it was had so much speed coming back to the right Back, backwards, backwards. Backwards some. All right, hold it right there a little bit. Hard with the wind. Yeah, no, but you just gotta counteract that. When you see it starting to move this way, you immediately put some right stick on it. But you're doing a good job. And as that wind dies down a little bit, the helicopter walks back. So it feels like you're doing something weird, but actually what you're doing is exactly what you should be doing right now to keep it in front of you so you're doing you're doing really good man all right don't hit me ah. <laughs> don't hit me <laughs> you're doing good, dude. keep it up man You guys are awesome. Nice.
guys get fancy with it doing circles. <laughs> What do you think? You think you can actually learn to fly with this one? Yeah. 100%. I feel like with the helicopters, it would just fall. I would, I would be all the way back there right now. Yeah? So that's something I really like about this is, you know, one battery. So it does come with one battery. You can buy extra batteries. You can buy extra chargers. But the one battery here, Avery, take this for a little bit. But the one battery, you're actually going to get, you know, close to 15 minutes. It, it's it marketed at 15 minutes. But honestly, what we've seen is we're getting about 14 minutes out of it, which still is right on par with you know what it says. Zayden, I'll go get Zayden it. clipped a fence. No, wait, watch this. So Zayden just clipped a fence. Wait, I'm gonna and, go get a clip. Yeah, go ahead. Zayden, <laughs> don't don't be scared. So Zayden just clipped a fence. <laughs> and what I really like about this is there's actually safety features inside the Heli 101 that if it hits something, it cuts everything off. So motors shut off and yeah, it just kind of drops amazing. out of the sky. So Avery's over filming it right now. Now something else we can do is actually on this transmitter, so this left this left button here, this one right right here, you can't really see it, but anyway, so this left button here, you tap it once, the helicopter takes off. You tap it again, it actually will land. If you get in trouble or the helicopter's flying away from you really fast and you don't know what to do and you panic, you can hold down this button, and when you hold it down, it actually shuts everything off the helicopter and it well, crashes, but it just lands instead of flying away. So really, I'm not even seeing any dings on the blades. Like, there's a little bit. It's just like dirt. This was like stuck. One of these, were, like that little area right there, was like in the fence. Oh, there's a little there's a little piece of dirt on the landing gear. There's like a little scuff on one of the props. That's it. But otherwise, a flight into a chain link fence was great. All right, anyway, so the Heli 101, both of them flew for the first time in their lives. And, you know, with a little bit of gust and wind, they had a good experience. Zayden ran it into a chain link fence after about 13 minutes of flying it. I didn't even crash. <laughs> She's, Avery said, I didn't even crash. Don't rub it in. <laughs> but the point is, it's durable. It took a lick into the chain link fence. It's got a little scuff, and that's it. Sure. Both of these kids never flown before in their lives, and they were able to have a good experience and have fun with it to where they want to take these home now. And they will. So, you know, Heli 101, home run in my book. Obviously, we love it. We put our name on it. If you're interested in it, link's in the description for Buddy RC. Check it out. First Step RC, a lot of products coming down the line geared for people like this. You know, never been in the hobby. We want to teach them. We want to get people excited in something that a lot of us already love. So, you know. Hope you've learned something. Hope you like the video. If you do, give us, a, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And appreciate you watching. Say bye, guys. Bye. I can make your hands clap.